today we will be doing an unboxing video. This video will be a bit different from the video I did last time because this isn't inherently a review, more of a unboxing slash first impressions and I have deconstructed my board uh, to a certain degree. I haven't taken the bearings out or anything like that but I'll be showing you my setup that I ride at the moment. I'll be showing you the deck that's in this package and I'll be gripping it, maybe doing some custom grip job, I don't know, don't know yet, <laughs> but yeah, let's get to it. So, uh, my deck that I rode before this new deck was a Power Peralta flight deck that I got for my birthday. Uh, it's a Salman Aga Pro model, I probably murdered the name, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, um, the deck still has some pop, it's like, it's not terrible, but you can take a look at the amounts of pieces it's missing and it's it's not that great to skate anymore. I, I also have gotten quite a few splinters out of this carbon fiber in my legs and stuff when it has hit my shins and that sucks, I hate that. <laughs> so uh, I had some money and I thought why not just get a new deck. And I was wondering what deck I would want to get and the deck I ended up with one thing to get is this deck. What is this deck? It's a fucking awesome, uh, I think Frogman was its name. It's a full deep deck and as you might know FA has some quite interesting shapes. And opening it, I'll be gripping it, you know, putting it in my setup, everything like that. And yeah. I'll skate. And what you know? Stickers, I saw Nike SP, then I got my mob grip, and here's the deck. I, I really like this, you can really tell it's a Jason Deal company <laughs> by the graphic, you know. But I, I love it, I really like it, and the shape is interesting. So we got some mob grip, which is amazing because mob is my favorite. I sand it down. Okay, now you're thinking, well, well, that's a waste of time if you want mob, but it, it lasts longer than other grips. I have noticed that. Also, I like it stickier at some points, not so sticky at other. So, like I like my kick flips pretty sleek, but for example, all these noise, noise tricks in general, I like them more grippy. So it's great I got this because. You know, much great. Also comes with a sticker, which is pretty cool. I thought about, you know, doing some grip job with it. You know, putting the uh, fucking awesome sticker like here and cutting the grip like that. But I don't know. Might use it for something else. Maybe if I get a. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. This is also a full dip board, which makes it a bit heavier, but I really like the aesthetics and if I'm making custom grip that job, it'll look green on the you know, downside, so I, I, I think that's, that will look pretty cool. Now let's just hope I didn't put my camera in some stupid fucking position so you can see something. I'll check it out. Alright, now you can see what I'm doing. I just realized that I might have to blur or edit out some spots where I showed my address, <laughs> if, if it can be seen. So yeah, if, if it's weirdly just goes to the black screen or something stupid like that, you'll know the reason. 
I'm not too good at editing as seen it on the first video. <laughs> but hey, this is, you know, more of a hobby to me than a future career path. Yeah, it, uh, it's an 8 inch full deep uh, fucking awesome deck. I really like how it looks. I really like the green. Traffic is sick too. Even though I'm gonna destroy it pretty quickly, which is gonna suck, but <laughs> hey, who cares, man? That's what happens to decks. Yeah, the main reason why I wanted an FA deck was because I heard that the shapes are really interesting. And now when I have this in my hand, I can really see these are really like blunt geeks. And like the tail is pretty short. And I don't know if it, you can pick that up on the video. But like the nose and tail are pretty steep, which I like. They have quite a bit of concave on them too. Normally you can have like decks that have flat noses and tails. This has some concave in them. I like that. And like the shape is interesting. Yeah. And this is a, this has a 14 inch wheelbase. My power deck I think had like 14 and 3 inches. Might be wrong, but I'm just putting that out there. So I just learned tray flips, so I think this will really benefit me getting my tray flips down better because shorter wheel basic turns faster. Or that's what I have heard. I never tried that though. I'm also trying to learn invert heels. I have landed at quite a few already, but they're really sketchy. They look so unsteasy. <laughs> but I'll try to get them down. They were weirdly easy trick to get down. It didn't take me too long to be honest. Probably like uh, three weeks and I landed the first one. Yeah, and this video will mostly just be me rambling about things, but hey, it's a setup video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I really like how it looks. Just wondering what kind of grip tape job I should do. Because I thought I might do a line here, might do a line here, might do a line that, you know, crosses the deck from here to here. It has like... Well, I live in Finland, we don't really study Spanish here. So, so you Spanish speakers, you can say what this means. Uh, it's probably made in Mexico or something like that. Yeah. Let's start, let's start the shit. Sh Set this up. Mind my stuttering, I'm, you know, not a native speaker. But I'm, I'm trying my goddamn best, and I hope that's enough. Fun thing about FA came to my... Uh, I'm just saying FA to save time. I'll say fucking awesome as many times as I want. I don't care if this gets age-risked, really frequent or anything. Not my problem. Because I don't make any money out of this, I'm just making this for fun. So, it's funny, Ben Deckrose made a video about his experiences with FA decks. I'll probably leave them in a link or you'll have them pop up here or here. <laughs> and yeah, like, he couldn't even say the brand name because of YouTube censorship and I think that's quite stupid. It's a, it's a swear word, as he said, like, from all the things children can see in the internet, that's pretty minuscule. Yeah. Pretty dumb in my opinion, but hey. What the it hell? is what it is. it is. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna go with the, you know, strike here. I, I bet that will make setting this up easier and it will look or Maybe I'll rip it so it looks, you know, a bit different. I am really sorry for everyone who's cringing so hard right now because I'm absolutely destroying my trip for no reason at all. But I just want to make something, you know, different. I have literally no grip tape job. I have a drawn on my grip tape, but nothing else, and I think that's quite boring. And I wanted to make something cooler. Never actually set up a deck like this, you know, sitting down or anything. I've always done it in. Oh, uh, I think I like bathroom floor or something along those. Oh god, don't, don't stick there. Thank you. Is that a good spot? Ah, oh, god, I don't know. <laughs> there. Yep, I got it. The 
fist around, let's taste it. Not really cold, but hey. Let a guy dream, let a guy dream. Yeah, I, I think that will look quite fine, actually. Really goes along with the FA team. Team. Talking about the team. <laughs> Jason Bill, Anthony Van Engelen, Louis Lopez, Michael Smith, Tyshan Jones. I'm really sorry, I'm, I don't know what the other names, but I have seen their skating. Those guys rip, okay? And Jason Deal still is an amazing skater, and that just blows my mind, dude. Like, he's so good. Yeah, and I like to think that my talking is a lot smoother, and I'm not as afraid of the camera anymore as I was on my first video, because that one was a train wreck. I think I'll just leave it like this. I'll, I'll leave a little room, not like this, but like a little room here. And I'll think that that'll look pretty cool. I'll sand it down, it probably look like shit, but hey, hey, I don't care. Yeah, it's a, it's a quite a big difference that it has on me, because the first video I was so scared. Like, not scared, but you know, like, I, I stuttered so much. I was having like silent moments where I didn't talk, nervous laughter, shit like that. Then I saw like people generally were liking the video, or maybe those were just bit pity coming. <laughs> That's possible, dude, dude. Oh no, I think I messed it up. Did I? Did I mess it up? I don't like messing shit up. I really like how mod is perforated or whatever it is or however you say it. You know, air bubbles don't burn because they have that stick there. I really like that. Because I had shake chant on that deck before I changed it because the shake chant was so thick that it started to like go in the first month. So yeah, I had to change it. I, I always like set it up and I mess it up real bad, then I'm like, oh god, it looks horrible. And then I'll just, you know, do these parts, like just putting it down and it'll look fine. Don't worry about it, it'll go away. And I need some mobs, so I don't have to worry about switching creeps, which I really like. I bet I'll do some creep art here too. I was first thinking of getting, you know, some 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 uh, brick deep decks or dirty kettle kids and like putting a love sign you know drawing that there because that would look pretty sick but I don't think it really fits with the fucking awesome deck style you know or like the brand itself it doesn't really bother me you know I'll do what I but you know I, I, I like to have a team I'm not like, I don't have an OCD about it, like, oh, I can't do that because of this. But I like to have a team, like, I think it makes your deck more, I don't know, vibe about it. I like that. I'm really good at rambling when I'm doing other stuff, so you'll probably hear a lot of stuff while I'm setting this up. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, I'll be reviewing that Powell Pearl that flight deck, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, put the video up. You'll see it, uh, you'll see it, you know. <laughs> Then, the shoes I'm skating at the moment are these Vans Rovan Torilla Bros. Those were the shoes I commented to that one guy about. I'll do a first impressions on them now. I have skated them for a few weeks, I think. Maybe even three weeks, to be honest. But the thing is that they have worn down so little that I thought I would break them in quickly. And then I will do the first impressions. They took quite a while to break in, dude. Not a bad thing, because they're really durable for, for wool shoes, so... Uh, yeah, I will review them soon. I must say that I'm most likely not gonna get blue shoes after these because these are so slim that they kinda hurt my 
feet if I tighten too tight and the impact protection is okay at best but hey, who cares I'll skate this as long as they go and I'll get probably S or D C shoes next maybe, maybe Jason, uh, no, Adidas shoes because if you watch Nine Club, you know Jason Deal was in the stop and chat and he showed his squash shoes that you know are now Adidas skate shoes and those look dope and they're Jason Deal so I'll, I'll pick them up if they drop and they're not like I beast this is like damn check the shoes out Never. year old with rich Parents buy 10 pairs of them. Then I'll get them if they're a reasonable price. Uh, yeah. What else? Ah, yeah, yeah. I've talked quite a lot about Jason Deal in this video. And uh, the thing is, uh, he's one of my favorite skaters, and I, 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 I think that's a weird thing to say one of your favorite skaters because like I have such a list of skaters that I respect on such a big level and I couldn't even make a top 10 list because <laughs> I have so many skaters that I respect and each to their own reason that's the thing dude like I respect each professional skater not all of them though I won't say any names to not hurt anyone but you know there are some skaters that I see skating and I think oh And I, I don't like with that at all. Sorry for using this Genji lingo, but hey, that's what I am. Yeah, tricks, tricks, tricks that I have tried to learn, and tricks, tip, trick tips that I'm gonna do. If you have any ideas for trick tips, put them down. I have started learning good. Like I could do them badly, but now I can do them pretty okay. You know, uh, front shots, pop shots, you know, popping them and all, no, not those, you know, throw it around with your front and back foot at the same time, like, leg it, pop it and catch it. And I have started learning invert heels, as I said, uh, i not gonna put a trick tip out of those in a long time. Tray flips, uh, I learned them like two weeks ago consistently and I am not gonna put a trick tip out of those either yet because I don't have them that good that it would you know be anything of value I mean of course I could describe it to you how I do the trick but I messed up my grip <laughs> yeah uh, I'll, I'll try to save it yeah, uh, yeah. Like, if you have any ideas of trick tips you want me to do, I can do kick flips, good backside flips, okay. Pop shoves really well, ollies really well, nolly is pretty cool. Uh, just drop a comment down below, and I'll learn the trick for you, and I'll make a trick tip for, about it for you. I can also do some stupid old tricks that no species skater will do <laughs> but I ain't one so you'll see plenty in my up and coming video part I'm wanting to release at some point I don't know when because like I'm at such a starting level of skateboarding I, I, I think I'll release it this summer and it will be like the first year part but I wanna like make it look like a professional video not with the editing and the music and stick but you know it will have a name and it will be composed well and you know stuff like that yeah uh, I'm trying to learn front side heel flips too I do not know why but I just cannot get my front side heel flips down front side flips I just cannot but front side heels are pretty easy. Like I have got them really close a bunch of times now. This gripping isn't good. Just, just 
just putting that out there. Okay? But it doesn't matter, I sand it down and it will wear off and stick like that. Um, I have also got them better at manuals. I can now do shoves out of manuals, but I can only into manuals, you know. I'm a bit of a starter still, so and don't don't judge me too much. Because what else? So many things. Uh, Deck. I'll be putting first impressions out pretty soon after this video because I'll be skating it today. Maybe even going to try to find some spots to skate. I think that's an okay good job, that part. I'll do some cool stick here. Yeah. Favorite video parts? That's a fun topic to talk about. Uh, I don't know if I'll know any like video parts that would be my favorite, but I'll name full videos that are my favorite. And the top, the top one is so basic that people are gonna just call me up copy of a Ender Skater here. <laughs> it's Manic Mati, of course. It's, it's a really good video. And hey, Arto, sorry. Hell yeah, man. Then after that, I would have to say photosynthesis because I really like the, the Dill part. Might just be my favorite video part ever. The song plus Dill Man plus the tricks. I love it. It's a great video. Uh, Kaylis has a really good part in that too. I think that was the time, yeah, Kaylis wrote for Alien Workshop. It's a pretty good part. Yeah, what about that for that? Fresh, I would say. I like it. Like it a lot. I heard that some people said that these are heavy, but this isn't really heavy. It's like maybe a teeny tiny bit heavier, but you know. Yeah, Ben Degro said. Go check his YouTube out if you already don't follow him. He's an absolutely amazing skater. I just realized I just had my knife open behind my back. That's a really smart move. Don't do that, kids. You'll fuck yourself up real good. Yeah, maybe now I will, you know, introduce what I skate and then I'll be putting it, you know, on this deck. Okay, so. Thunder trucks, 147s I think. Yep, these are the highs because well they don't make lows anymore. And I have the bones bushings in them that don't really fit. <laughs> yeah, they, they broke almost immediately. Then I ride please focus, thank you. 53mm Spitfire Formula 4 conical fulls and Bronson G trees. The best. I freaking love Bronson. Then I have some shake chunt bolts. Don't really make a difference. Hardware is hardware. And I have one enough uh, bolt tear too because I really like the contrast with these two. Yeah. Yeah. I will pick this bolt as the one that I'll use to poke some holes. I don't actually poke holes with this. I only you know lift it up so I can poke the hole with my knife. Talking about knives, do you know what's pretty funny in my opinion? Professional skaters being spon sponsored by knife brands. And if you do not know what I'm talking about, go to Tom Astas Instagram profile or like Chris Cole's Instagram profile. These dudes 
are sponsored by knives. Like, I think it's like Gerber knives or something like that, the one brand that's sponsoring them. And I, like, it's cool, but like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> like, like, I get it, you know, you set up your deck with your knife. I just use this martini. Really expensive knife. I do not know why I set up my first deck with this one. But hey, now it's tradition, so I'll be using this till I die. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a weird thing. I kinda get it, but I kinda don't. I bet it's the pre pretty much the same thing as like energy drink sponsors or like clothing sponsors that are not skateboarding. For example, like Broken Promises. They. They have sponsored that one guy with the crazy dyed hair. I really like it, I'm not mocking it, but you know, that's what I remember him from. He writes for Zero and Pablo Peralta. They sponsor that guy, but Broken Promises isn't like a skateboarding brand. They just make clothes, pretty cool clothes too, but like they do not make anything skateboarding related. Which I'm not against. I know many people are like, Real skateboarders don't take sponsorships from Monster and Red Bull, but I'm not. If you get money for that, you get money for what, you know, for that, fucking take it, dude. Skateboarding is not known to be, you know, the place to get rich. You know, it's not every guy who gets money like Rob Dyrdek or like Steve Barra or like Tony Hawk or like. Any of those guys, it's, you know, it's not. It's funny how people think that like professional skaters are these rich guys. Like, damn dude, they barely get by. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't matter being a tell but I wouldn't matter. I wouldn't care if I was a pro skater and I was like poor. I would be cool with that. Just being a professional skater and making your living with skateboarding would be absolutely lit. I mean I would I would be cool with living in a single room apartment if I would be riding for FA and S skateboarding, mob grip, Bronson Speed Go, Independent or Thunder. I like both trucks. I know there's a lot of guys who are like it's either independent or thunder. I have tried my friends in this they're fine. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they feel heavy, but you skate them for a day and that's that. They are high, you can get some serious pop with those. Thunder highs has, have some good pop too. I don't really, you know, like all this shit. I can fucking jump knee high with those. I don't care. I still get up stick. 